ask? Be good. Can, How are you? Can we play our game? Oh, sure. yeah. Well, let's find out your innermost secrets. Bachelor number one, tell us who you are and what you do. Hi, my name's Jeff Doran, and I'm a fourth-year communication major at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Okay, do you require any special skills in the women you go out with? Uh, the only skill that I require that she has is a good appetite. Well, I love to go out and eat, and if this girl isn't going to eat, it just, it's, it's too embarrassing having chives in my teeth at the end of a date if she's not going to have them, too. <laughs> That's why I, mean, I, I don't want to have pesto again in here, okay? <laughs> hey, can I borrow your matchbook? <laughs> Ooh, I hate it when that happens. Best of luck to you, sir. That's number two. Tell us, so oh, I don't know who you are and what you do, I guess. Well, I'm Chris Geyer. I'm a senior studying communications at Michigan State University. Okay, is there anything your dates ought to know about you? Oh, I love to talk. I can really? talk about anything. I really don't even need to know what I'm talking about. I'll just uh -huh. keep talking and talking sure. and talking. Especially if I'm, like, embarrassed or nervous. Oh, then yeah. I'll just... Once I start, I really don't come up for air, Jeff. Uh-huh. <laughs> That could possibly happen here today. Possibly, yeah. Any, anything goes. <laughs> well, not unless I say so. All right. That's the, last, yeah. That's the number three. Tell us who you are and what you do. How are you, Jeff? My name is Todd Glassberg, and I'm a financial consultant. Okay. You picky about the way a woman wears her makeup? Yes. I kind of like the natural girl. Can almost go with no makeup at all. I, I don't like girls that much to have that colorful makeup with those rosy red lips and that... No pink lips and pink cheeks, and have the eyelashes that like a black widow made in Eston. <laughs> and I once tried to kiss Hi, one of them. Hi, honey, I'm home. <laughs> oh, nice to see you, Tammy Faye. <laughs> I once tried to kiss one of those girls, and it tasted like a crayon. Oh, <laughs> Well, who's got some floss? All right, gentlemen, um, you ready to play the game? Yep. Yeah. Lovely bachelorette next door, dying to meet you. Well, I don't know if she really cares. She just wants the trip. Anyhow, have fun. Let's play the game. I'm kidding. Of course she wants to date with these guys. Let's meet Dawn Epstein. Hi, Dawn. How are you? It's nice to meet you. Why don't you go ahead and sit down? And because we're all friends here, tell us all about yourself. Well, I'm a preschool teacher, and I'm studying audiology, speech pathology of young children. Really? You're, you're a teacher? Oh, God, when I was in school, teachers didn't even have legs. <laughs> now, um, what would a guy uh, uh, possibly do to annoy you on a date? Well, the thing that really, really irritates me is when mm. a guy calls you all the time. It, mm. it really bothers me. Sometimes yeah. I put a message on my answering machine, and... I say for the 85th time, thank you very much, hello, and goodbye forever. Forever. Well, we're insecure because we're men, and let's face it, women treat us like dirt. Okay, uh, now you've got... I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. I'm serious. Well, that's right. Some men are dirt, but that's a topic for William F. Buckley on Firing Line, I think. Now, you have three questions. You have three bachelors. Somehow, I think what you'll do is ask the bachelors those questions. Decide who you want to go out with, okay? Okay. Now, take a deep breath. <gasps> Let it out. I'll be down here if you need me. Okay. Bachelor number one. Hello. I never go slow dancing with dates because I have so much rhythm, I end up stepping on their toes. What's one thing you never do on a date? I never pay the bill. You never pay I'm the bill? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, one thing that I would never do is I would probably never inter... Well, I'd interrupt a little bit, but I would never dominate the conversation because obviously if I'm taking someone out, namely the bachelorette over there, um, I would love to find out all about you. Bachelor number two, what about you? Well, there's very little I wouldn't do, but um, one thing that I wouldn't do, especially on a first date, say, would be to take you to a movie or a rock concert or something where you're kind of sitting, like, side by side, but you can't hear each other, you don't have a chance to interact, and get to know each other, because I think that the important part of a first date is really getting a feel for each other, you know, what you're like, what your interests are, things like that. So I wouldn't want to take you somewhere that's uh, really loud, that you couldn't hear each other. Oh, well, that sounds pretty interesting. Bachelor number three, um, what would one thing you'd never do? Pick you up naked. Oh, I, I don't think I'd go on a date naked anyways. I no, I meant me off. coming over to your house, going to pick you up with nothing on. Oh. No, seriously, I would probably never take you to a restaurant where we would have to sit and talk and have pause in the conversation. I would try to bring you to a place where we can mix everything of the above. Okay. Including Sounds... the naked part, or was that just me? <laughs> no, that was just a joke. Oh, okay. oh, I'm glad about that. Bachelor number two, I'm looking for a man for all seasons. If you could invent a season that would best describe your personality, what would it be called and why? Uh, it'd be the casual season, just because that's the kind of person I am, really. Just kind of a casual guy. I like to take things as they come. Okay, bachelor number three, what about you? Well, my season would be the adaptable season. The adaptable season, why? Because it's just like me. I can pretty much mold who any way a woman is and try and be the way she'd like, happy, sad, funny, that's serious. Not, that's not always good, though. What about the way you feel? Ah, but that's the way I am, just unpredictable. Bachelor number 
one, what would a, your season be called and why? <laughs> well, you know, I like all seasons. I'd say winter. The best thing I like about that is sitting in front of fire and cuddling. Uh, I'd say fall. Well, it's, it's a little cold, so I, I'd throw in the cuddling part, too, there. But and, what would but your season be called? I, what I'd say is probably my two most favorite seasons are summer and spring, so I'd probably call it spummer or something. I don't know. Spummer. And summer would, the, the ummer part would, would come from the fact that I really like the beach. I, lo I love going out swimming, just bopping around on the beach. And the spring part would come from the fact that I think I'm pretty bright and I'm colorful, too. Oh, so you're a male sun bunny, huh? <laughs> Okay, bachelor number three. Stunned. It's a real turn off to me when men try to impress me with how many credit cards they have. What should I do on a date to never try to impress you? Well, I hope you never tell me about your old boyfriends. Oh, that's a bum deal. I would never do that. <laughs> bachelor number two, what about you? Uh, to, something you'd never do to try and impress me is try and be someone you're not, because that would be insincere and I'd pick up on it. And no, you know, I'd rather get to, like I said before, I get to know you. And if you're being someone fake, you know, if you're putting on, like, clothes or something you wouldn't normally wear or trying to feign interest in something I like, I don't think you'd be enjoying yourself, and then I wouldn't enjoy myself either. Bachelor number one, what should I do to never try to impress you, Bachelor? I'd say on first impressions, the one thing that I can pick up is someone when they're not themselves. I would say probably, you know, if you want to, let's say we went out or something like that. Uh, <laughs> um... What I would say is, you know, if you feel comfortable just wearing jeans, you wear jeans. I don't care. I don't like, I don't like all that makeup and stuff like that, unless that's you. So. Okay, I, you that? don't like them too. <laughs> I love having these buttons over here. Well, I tell you what, Don, because it's the way we play our game, you're going to have to decide now which one of those guys you want to go out with. Give you a couple of minutes to think about that. Meanwhile, why don't you folks take off all your clothes and see how long it takes the neighbors to notice. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Caught us right in the middle of our talent contest here at the All New Dating Inn. We're back now with Dawn, and Dawn is going to tell us if it's going to be bachelor number one or bachelor number two or bachelor number three. It's going to be bachelor number one. Ooh, okay. Why him? I like the spummer part. I like sun bunnies. Don't we all? Let's meet the two guys you didn't choose. Now, bachelor number two said he'd never take you to a movie or a concert on a first date. His name is Chris Geyer. Chris, come on over and say hi to Dawn. And bachelor number three said never, ever, ever talk to him about old boyfriends. Todd Glassberg, come on over and say hi to Dawn. Gentlemen, I must say goodbye. I hate to do it. Got some lovely parting gifts backstage for you. Now, Dawn, walk this way. Meet the man you actually did choose, bachelor number one, who said his season would be called Spummer. Jeff Doran, come on over and say hi to Dawn. <laughs> come here. Come here. Don't, don't. Get right up next to me. Now, I have three envelopes in my sweaty quiz master myth. Who's going to choose? You can choose. I can choose? Yeah. Okay. Choose I think we'll go with number one, because we're going to have a number one date. Let's Number go. one. Okay, here we go. Tear that open. Okay. I love when they bring their own routine. Paradise Island! Oh! Dawn and Jeff, you and your dating game chaperone will spend four great days in the Bahamas at Villas in Paradise, where you may enjoy secluded beaches, soothing Caribbean waters, and lively entertainment furnished by Villas in Paradise. Paradise Island Tourism Development Association will host you to the majestic sights of the islands, complete with romance and history, the fascinating seafloor aquarium, and a leisurely catamaran cruise through picturesque islands. Furnished by Paradise Island Tourism Development Association, you'll fly from Los Angeles to Miami via Continental Airlines comfortable jets, featuring spacious seating, full service meals, and complimentary snacks. Furnished by Continental Airlines. Then you're on your way to Paradise, an island filled with starlit nights and sun-kissed days when you fly Bahamas Air, featuring friendly, professional service with a Bahamian flair and complimentary beverages with comfortable seating and an interior reflecting the blue-green waters of the islands. Furnished by Bahamas Air. Have a wonderful time in the Bahamas! Well, you know what? I couldn't hear a word Charlie said. Oh, two bad eardrums and a cracked watch, Crystal. You guys were very excited about, oh, that. about that. No, that's fine. I hope you have a good time. You played the game beautifully. Thank you. Now,